Now, if you want to allocate the cost of the purchase as an item cost, uh, we need to select that expenses at time of purchase. Okay. So uh, we have created uh, ledgers. So first of all, you can see we have created one supply ledger, ABC trading uh, company, which is under uh, creditors and uh, state and country also you can see. It's like Gujarat and India, right? So this is technically, this is uh, in, like, supplier from our side of UAE, okay? One custom duty expense ledger we have created. So like whatever additional expense uh, happens that you can create, for example, custom duty, transportation, uh, loading, unloading, clearing charges, freight charges, whatever it is, you can create under direct expense. Most important method of appropriation, you have to select here how you want to appropriate. Okay, you want to appropriate as a by quantity or by value that you can select. Okay, mostly we are using a value, but in your case, if you want to allocate based on the quantity, you can do it. In this case, I'll allocate uh, appropriate by value I will select, okay? Uh, taxability you can consider whether that is taxable or not, okay? Accepted. So we have created one supplier ledger, one custom duty uh, ledger, which is our expense. We have also created custom department ledger. They are again our supplier or creditors where we will pay the custom duty, right? So the payment also, payment entry also we have to do. So that's why we have created, okay? Now, for example, at time of purchase, simply, for example, I'm creating the purchase from the supplier. Supplier I have selected. All this information, if you want, you can enter. Otherwise, skip it, okay? It's purchase ledger. Now name of the item, for example, I'm selecting Samsung Galaxy uh, S24 Ultra, okay. Uh, quantity, for example, 10 and rate I'm entering, for example, 1000. Okay, now 1000 is my normal item cost from the supplier. 10 pieces I'm purchasing, okay. But in this case, one more expense custom duty happens, okay. Which is not from the supplier, but of course, like that happens. So I can select here. Okay, that custom duty and I will enter whatever cost it is. For example, custom duty happens like 500. Okay, so technically that cost was like, initially the cost was 1000 only per pieces, but additionally I'm paying 500 as a custom duty. So that 500 also should allocate to that item. So eventually my item cost should be like 1050, right? So that 50 for each piece, it should be allocated. So uh, when I when I make the sales, cost should be considered in the stock also, the cost should consider as a uh, 10,500 for the 10 pieces or for each, it will be 1,050. So let us save this transaction and let us check the stock summary. Okay, as I have saved, uh, let us check the stock summary. You can see the stock summary, the cost it is showing 1050 uh, for each rate uh, okay and the total is 10500 when you check the supplier that is uh, the closing balance it is showing 10500 now actually we have to pay 10000 only so the rest of 500 we will pass to the custom department now you can pass the jv for transferring that 500 from uh, supplier to I mean, ABC trading company supplier to a custom department. So we can pay to the custom department, right? Uh, so JV we have to pass where we will debit uh, uh, ABC with 500 against this invoice and will credit to the custom department with 500. And you can set a reference number, whatever custom department's uh, invoice number, okay? And then accordingly, you can make the payment also, right, to the custom department. So from the voucher, you can make the payment. Uh, you can, for example, you are paying by cash to custom department, how much? 500 against this bill, okay? And you can save this transaction, right? And when you sell, uh, it will compare with the cost price. 
105 i mean sorry 1050 and it will showcase the profit 